students from Northeast are protesting in the capital, having been lati charged by cops. In fact, remember, they were protesting near Raisana Hill and had broken through the security cordon. The visuals on the screen showing over 50 student protesters who are said to have now been detained after they were lati charged by the cops today in the capital. They were protesting from Northeast students protesting in the capital. Bhavtosh Singh joining us on the phone line with more details. Bhavtosh, what happened? Have the students now been detained? Well, uh, at least 50 of them have been detained by the Delhi police. Uh, in fact, the incident happened around 30 minutes back uh, when these uh, students who were protesting at Jantar Mantra broke through the security cordon and then came very close to uh, uh, to Raisina Hill. In fact, then when they were marching towards North Block, they were stopped by the police. Barricades were put up. The police told them that they should not gather here because prohibitory orders are in place. They didn't listen to the uh, to the advice of the police, and then uh, the police had to use uh, uh, a lati charge. Now, uh, the police also called in paramilitary forces. The RPF is anyway deployed here. Uh, incidentally, the incident happened just uh, 10 minutes before uh, the prime minister's uh, cavalcade was to leave from. Uh, South Block, so it was a uh, it could have been a security breach because students came very close to South Block also. Uh, but most of the students have now been removed from here. In fact, they claim that uh, they were only trying to submit a memorandum to the Home Ministry, uh, and uh, this uh, this was completely uncalled for on the part of the Delhi Police. But the police said that uh, the movement of the Prime Minister was to happen in next 10 minutes, and they had no option but to use uh, heavy force to remove these students uh, from Raisina Hill. But Bhaktosh, the question here also being that even if the Prime Minister's uh, uh, cavalcade had to go across, why lati charge the people, the students who were just merely protesting to get justice? Well, in fact, they were, uh, according to the police, uh, that's what the police said. Uh, additional DCP Madhu Verma was the one who ordered uh, the, the bait and charge. He said that uh, uh, the Prime Minister movement could not have taken place uh, if the students were protesting at Raisina Hill. Now, in fact, uh, there were at least 200 odd students. Most of them are uh, from universities and colleges. And they were pro protesting against the recent uh, spate of uh, racial uh, attacks that have taken place in the capital. They said despite, uh, uh, despite government's assurance and the fact that... Uh, CBI probe has been ordered in Nido's uh, case. Uh, such crime has not gone down. Uh, in, the police on its part have said that uh, they were allowed to protest at Jantar Mantar and they should not have uh, uh, carried out their protest at, uh, at Raisina Hill or near North Block or South Block where probatory orders are in place. They were given permission to protest at Jantar Mantar. But some of them, at least 200 of them, uh, right. managed to break through the security cordon and come very close to... They're arresting some people there. They're arresting... This is just a peaceful protest. protesters. In India, our constitution guarantees everyone the right to protest, the right to assemble. And why are they, why are they, why are they arresting us for this peaceful protest? This is the question to be asked. What are your name? 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 Uh, yes. I'm Sri Ram from Manipur. I'm a student of JNU. All right, Bhavtosh continues to be with us. Bhavtosh, we just heard a woman protester there saying that it's a peaceful right, a constitutional right of these people to protest, and yet they were lati charged. What sort of action are they facing? Where have they been taken? What time did the entire incident occur? Well, in fact, uh, the incident happened uh, around 30 minutes back, uh, and uh, uh, they have been taken to Parliament uh, Street Police Station. In fact, uh, uh, we can now see the Prime Minister going back to South Block, and uh, that's what uh, the explanation has been given by the Delhi Police. Uh, there was a movement of the Prime Minister, and uh, they had no option but to remove uh, all these protesters from uh, Raisina Hill. But definitely very heavy force was used by the police. Uh, many are saying that it was completely uncalled for. They should not have used such force. Uh, in fact, uh, women uh, police personnel were also called in by the, by the Delhi police, uh, primarily because most of the protesters were women. And a few, of the, a few of the protesters did manage to come very close to Home Ministry when the police ordered this uh, lati charge. Now, Bhavtosh, also as you are giving us details about how they broke the security cordon, they were protesting in Raisana Hill. What is it that the Delhi police has now ordered in the entire area? The police has said that uh, since they have broken through uh, a prohibitory order and in fact uh, they were, uh, they were uh, not following the, uh, following the uh, section 144 that have been put in place in this area, the police have said that uh, action will be taken against them but senior officers have said that it could be possible that they might just be let off uh, after giving them a warning because they also know that these are students who have, been, uh, who have a genuine demand that of, uh, of end to the racial attacks that have taken place in this, uh, uh, in this city and uh, they have said that they will be told that what they have done was not right and uh, they should not carry out such protest in future. In fact, they have been taken to Parliament Street Police Station. Some of them did right. receive uh, uh, heavy blows, uh, but police have said that no one has been injured in this incident.
All right, Bhartu Singh joining us with those latest details, all the top details of that story.